Hello friends, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Today we are doing something different and we are going to look at how to install the fly-by-wire A320NX mod into Microsoft Flight Simulator. This was requested by Koshik, if I'm not butchering his name. Uh, he specifically wanted me to explain how to install the fly-by-wire mod and that's what we are doing today. So without further ado, let's jump in and start uh, start working on that. First thing you want to do is to go to their website, which is flybywiresim.com. When you go in there, as you see, you are uh, welcomed with directly with the installer option here. So that's what we want to do. Uh, there are some other information here like documentation, uh, Discord server, uh, YouTube videos and whatnot. You can check it for yourself on their website. But what we want to do is download the installer. So when you get it, click that. There is a download link for the custom built installer. We will download this. Now the installer is downloaded. Let's go to the downloads folder. Double click and run the installer. This will install. This might be different for you because I have this installed before. So if it's not going through all the options uh, through the video, it's just installing and opening this screen for me. If it's different for you, uh, make sure you select your down, uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator community folder uh, so that it installs correctly when you install the A320, A, A32 NX. To check that, go to the settings. The install directory is here. You can click and change. But this is my install directory. My simulator is installed on a separate drive, uh, which is drive G, FS2020, and community. What you need to do is you need to find your community folder and select that folder or as the install directory. And the other settings, version warnings, I it's def disabled by default and faster downloads and from this point what you need to do is whether you you need to select which version you want stable is as the name suggests the stable version that's tested and bug free mostly 99 percent development is the development version which might have some bugs but you might get uh, some features early in there earlier than the stable and the experimental is the a version where they have their own autopilot system so this is the, the the one step above development i usually stick with development uh version you make your choice and then you hit install from there and then it will start installing and downloading and we will we will check how it looks like when it's downloaded it also places a check a shortcut to your desktop which i placed right there so as you see it's downloading it will take some time for this to download and going forward when there is a new version comes you just update and it doesn't take as much uh, to update because it's updating a couple modules not the entire uh, download again but pretty much this is the easiest way to install the fly-by-wire mod uh, to microsoft flight simulator installer takes care of pretty much everything and I will show you the folder when it's done so that you can make sure if it's installed properly. So almost there, I guess. There might be some other modules that it might download as well. So I'm waiting for that to finish. So it says installed, download complete, you're ready to fly. So let's go and check the community folder. As I said, my community folder is under SIM drive or G drive. 2020 community and what you want to see here if it's installed properly is fly-by-wire aircraft a320 neo if it's here then that means your installation is uh, correct and you should be able to select the fly-by-wire mod in the simulator so let's start the simulator and see uh, which one we should select before flight or pre-flight or in the world map menu 
Now we are loaded into the simulator. We, let's go to the world map. And aircraft selection. Airliners. When you go in here, you should see a fly-by-wire simulations A320neo. I have a couple liveries, that's why you are seeing Pegasus Airlines livery as default. But when you select this, you should see the default a fly-by-wire livery and the default livery, nothing more. I installed quite a few. There are a number of liveries in uh, under flightsim.to or specifically for fly-by-wire A3NX, A32NX. So if you want to download, go to flightsim.to and you can download and drop those liveries into your community folder and you will have those liveries. And that is how you install and select the fly-by-wire mod, Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was informative for those of you who are, who are curious about learning how to install this mod. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.